Hi all. Uh, I've been studying to take the truck driving test, the CDL, and I just thought I'd pass on a few tips that I've picked up. Uh, first, you get your CDL for the state that you live in, just like you would a normal driver's license. You know, I live in Ohio, so I would get an Ohio CDL. You know, if I wanted to, I could get one in Pennsylvania. You know, if I went to a truck driving school in Pennsylvania, they could help me get my CDL there. But it's more difficult because of the laws and regulations. Uh, it costs more. Yeah. Uh, I talked to one fella at a school in Pennsylvania, and that's what he has said to me. So. Uh, it's best to get your CDL in the state that you live in. Best place to start is go to your BMV, same place you renew your driver's license, and get a copy of the manual. Uh, I downloaded this one from the internet, so I thought this would be a good one to use for the videos. So every state's manual is going to be a little different. But from what I've seen, they're pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, my understanding is getting a commercial driver's license, a, a CDL. It's through your state, but there's a lot of federal regulations. So I think the federal government pretty much well controls it. And that's why most of the manuals are the same. Now, I have seen a few, I've downloaded a few from other states, and they are, they are different, and they are a lot bigger. But the general stuff is still the same. You know, driving a truck is driving a truck, you know. Just like driving a car is driving a car. It's all the same stuff, you know. I downloaded this picture from the internet. This is what a CDL license looks like it looks just like your driver's license you know it's just a little card you carry in your wallet you know? I put together this text file that has some basic information to get us going uh, first thing you need to do is get your commercial learners permit Uh, most of the things I've read and videos I've watched, they, they usually don't bring this up. Uh, so what you can do is go to your local BMV, same place you take your normal driving test for your car. And on a computer screen, you take a test that's called the General Knowledge Test. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, what I was told was it covers the first three chapters of the manual. One, two, three. So that's only about, what, uh, six pages here, 39 here, three here, so roughly 50 pages. Uh, it takes about an hour. I'm not sure if it's an hour or, or an hour and a half. They might give you an hour and a half. It's, I'm pretty sure it's timed. I'm not positive. It's 50 questions, multiple choice, A, B, C, or D. So you don't have to remember everything, you know. You just pick one, A, B, C, or D. And you can get up to 10 wrong and still pass. On number 11 that you get wrong, once you get 11 wrong, the test turns off. So after you take the general knowledge test and pass, then you can pay $27 
and get your commercial learner's permit. Then when you go to a truck driving school, you're good to go. You can get in the truck and drive it. Uh, there's another test that I would recommend doing is the air brake test. You know, most semis work off air brakes. And that's just one small section here in the manual. It's only eight pages. Uh, there's plenty of great videos on YouTube that cover that type of thing. And I'll try and talk a little bit about it, uh, tips that I've picked up. Uh, some of the things might be hard to test on if you haven't actually worked with a truck. You know, that's where the videos would come in just to get to the point where you could comfortably take your CDL class, your course. The reason why I say that is because most truck driving schools are roughly five weeks. You know, you know I've seen some are three weeks, some are four weeks. You know. Most aren't longer than, than that. I've heard of some that go 10 weeks. I haven't actually talked to a school that has one that's 10 weeks long. So, so most are five weeks, give or take a little bit, usually less. Uh, I heard a radio show just a few weeks ago and they said they were pushing people through in three weeks because they need drivers so bad. So trying to learn this stuff in three weeks, that's really pushing it. That's why I say, you know, learn as much as possible before you take your school. You know, uh, most truck driving schools cost about 5000 uh, give or take. You know, it depends on which school you pick. I've heard of schools, 1500 but I haven't actually seen one. I can't actually find one. You know, you know, talking to other fellas, that's what I've heard. You know. There's definitely more expensive ones, seven, eight, nine thousand dollar schools. You know. What more they would actually teach you, I don't know. You know, uh, driving a truck is driving a truck, right? You know. There's the steering wheel, there's the shift, you know. So, my understanding is all you need to do is take the general knowledge test. Takes about an hour, 50 questions, and you can get up to 10 wrong and still pass. Pay your $27 and you get your learner's permit. Now, one school I talked to said, take care of this before you sign up for the class, which makes sense. Uh, another school I talked to said, don't bother taking this beforehand. They'll take care of it all there. You know, you don't have to get your learner's permit before the class starts. My feeling is that would be tough if you didn't because, you know, you're talking a four-week school and uh, you're, you're going to learn all this in four weeks plus the, plus the driving, the backing up, things like that. So I think what's best to do is to get into the manual, read the manual the best you can, watch a lot of videos online, and take the other test. There's more than just the one test, you know. The general knowledge test is just the test to get you started. Now, when I talked to my local BMV, what she told me was, if I wanted to, I could take all of the tests. I think there's seven tests all on the computer screen total. I think you have like six months 
as long as you take them all within six months. You could take them every other day if you wanted to. So, but uh, like, plan on taking one one test a week, and then pay your twenty-seven dollars and get your learner's permit. I think that would be a better way to go. Uh, I've heard that some of these tests, it's only 20 questions. They don't expect you to be a genius at this stuff. They just want you to know what a tanker is and what hazmat is, you know, the, a basic understanding. Uh, see, like here, the test on doubles and triples, it's only three short sections. Tank vehicles, two small sections. The hazmat stuff is a little bit more extensive, but uh, I've heard that this is just a basic understanding of hazmat stuff. And then if you go to work for someone who, who actually carries this stuff, they have their own training courses on how to handle their hazardous material. Okay, so what I recommend you know, take the general knowledge test. You can take it as many times as you want. You take it until you pass it. You can take it a hundred times. You take you can take it a thousand times, and then take these maybe a week apart. To, two weeks apart, you know, it, it depends on how fast you want to go. I think for most of us, we're interested in semis. I, I think we could skip that one. And then after you pass these, then you get your commercial learner's permit. Then when you get to your school, you've got most of your paperwork out of the way and you can concentrate on learning to actually drive the truck. Now, uh, you don't have to go to a school to get your CDL. If you already know how to drive a truck, what you can do is get your learner's permit and then go to a testing center. Same way you would get your regular license to drive a car. Now, the tricky part there is most of us don't own a semi, right? So, in my state, I've read that there's three testing sites that have a semi that you can rent to take the test. I think it was $45 to rent the truck to take the test. So then uh, there's a pre-trip inspection test. That's where you walk around the truck and you inspect it. And then there's a basic vehicle control test. You ride around in the parking lot and then they take you out on the road and that's the final road driving test. So you can see for a uh, uh, $27, $30, so there's 60, 70, $80 for about $80 you could get your CDL plus renting the truck so 80 and 50 so about a hundred and thirty so, and then when they actually hand you the card you put in your wallet that's another forty two dollars so what's that one one thirty and and another fifty so you know under two hundred dollars total okay now for most of us we don't know how to drive a truck 
so we have to go to a school. Now, uh, b before we quit here, these tests here, those would be the endorsements. Uh, when you get a normal CDL, it's a class A to drive a semi. There's A, B, and C. Yeah. I don't remember what B and C was, but it's for like the smaller trucks, you, you know, the, the delivery trucks and dump trucks and things like that, you know. A class A CDL, just think of A meaning semi truck tractor trailer tractor would be like the main part of the truck and the trailer is the thing you pull behind it you know. so when you go and take your general knowledge tests they're going to ask you which test you do you want to take you want to take the class a test Now, there's also things that you can get added on, okay? That's where these other tests come into play. Yeah. Uh, air brakes would be one of them, okay? Uh, practically all semis work on air brakes, so we all have to take that one. So, general knowledge and air brake at a minimum. The air brake section isn't big at all. Eight sections here. And then once you pass these other tests, you get the endorsements. They just put a little mark on your license. Yeah. If you take the double and triple test, you get a minus T if, if you take the passenger test you get a minus P minus N for tank vehicles minus H for hazmat stuff you know minus X for combination vehicles now my first thought was well I'm not gonna bother with these now you know just just let me do the bare minimum so I can get started and then I was watching one video and the fella said uh, go ahead and take these it's only 20 more questions it's a free test get them added to your CDL then you have them if you need them you know, you don't want to go to a truck driving job and say, and they say, do you have the hazmat stuff? And you say, no. Yeah. Uh, uh, hazmat, sometimes it's really not all that dangerous. It might only be uh, antifreeze or something like that. So that's why I say just go ahead and take these tests. And then when you're all done passing these tests, then pay your $27 and get your learner's permit. Then you're good to go. Okay, so I think we'll go ahead and, and stop there. Next time we'll get more into the manual here. See ya. Bye.